What's up guys? Hey everyone. We are coming at you today with two different types of cocktails. Both very delicious, but both very different. A little sweet and savory. I'm going to do a light, refreshing strawberry cocktail. And I'm going to do a Bloody Mary. Loaded Bloody Mary. Loaded Bloody Mary. You weren't supposed to tell them about the loaded yet, but now you guys know. It's going to be loaded. So big shout out to Zivia for sending us these awesome mixers. We got tonic water, we got dry lemon lime, and my favorite, ginger beer. Also my favorite. Zivia was so kind to sponsor this video, and we're gonna show you how to use these mixers in some delicious cocktails. So the thing about Zivia is it's kind of like diet soda, but it uses only stevia instead of the other artificial sweeteners. Mega's gonna go first. She's gonna make her sweet treat. Don't say sweet, that was dumb. Mega's gonna make a simple Southern strawberry cocktail. But this is for more than just Southerners, it's for everyone. So you really only need four ingredients for this drink. We are gonna be using the lemon, dry lemon lime Zevia mixer in this recipe. Then you got your strawberries, some liquid stevia, vodka. So here I have 20 grams of strawberries, which is just over one carb, I think. So very minimal carbs. You could even use less. You go a little more if you like strawberries. So I'm gonna add that to the bottom of a glass. And we're gonna go 10 drops of liquid stevia. Find your finest muddler and just muddle. Okay, that looks good to me. Now you're gonna add one and a half ounces of vodka. One and a half ounces is usually a standard shot you'll get in a bar in a mixed drink. Now we're gonna drop three to four cubes of ice. Top it with, I like half a can of dry lemon lime. I think that's the perfect amount. If you're classy like me, you'll find your finest paper straw. Oh, that's just delicious. And another tip is if you don't like this chunks of strawberry in your mouth, like I do, you could totally just strain this as is using a strainer into another glass and you still have your cocktail, just minus the strawberry bits. So that is my simple strawberry cocktail. This is really quick, easy go-to any night of the week. Okay guys, my turn and we are gonna make a Bloody Mary. And Bloody Marys are actually hard to make keto friendly. If you get a standard Bloody Mary, it's gonna be like 10 to 15 grams of carbs just from the tomato juice and stuff. But we got a shortcut. You might think it's a little weird, but it's actually tastes exactly like a normal Bloody Mary. First thing we're gonna do, electrolytes. You gotta get your electrolytes in. You can use any kind of salt you want. Most of you probably have the pink salt. I'm gonna use this red Hawaiian salt. Just because it's red, the Bloody Mary's red, it'll look cool. And we're gonna rim the glass. We're using a mason jar. Just coat the edge in a little bit of water and then dip it in. We're gonna add a few ice cubes. This is gonna be a double shot cocktail. Okay, so we're about to get weird. Are you guys with me? Tomato sauce. I said it, tomato sauce. This is what we're going with. We're gonna use a quarter cup. A quarter cup of this has four net carbs. Um, and it gives you the tomato flavor that would be like in eight ounces of tomato juice and that is like 10 to 12 net carbs. And it's actually probably better if you make this in a separate container and then pour it in at the end. But who's got time for that? Now, depending on how hot you like it, hot sauce. I'm gonna use two teaspoons, one teaspoon of lemon juice. You can use a fresh lemon or you can use a jar lemon. Then this is pretty key in my opinion. You're gonna want some olive juice, a teaspoon. Some Worcestershire sauce, a teaspoon. Each teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce has about a gram of sugar in it. Just keep that in mind if you go overboard with the Worcestershire sauce. So we're gonna do two shots of vodka, that's six tablespoons. And then lastly, we're gonna add one full can of tonic water. Now this has a little bit of sweetness in it from the stevia. Since you're just using the concentrated tomato sauce, the combination of the tonic water and the tomato sauce kind of gets you into like a tomato juice consistency level. A little bit less than a can. Now let's give this a quick stir. Now for some people that's where the Bloody Mary ends, but for me that's where the Bloody Mary begins. We gotta come up with some garnishes. And I'm all about the extreme garnishes for Bloody Marys. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna need a few toothpicks. And we've got a block here of like some herbal, Italian herb cheese, mozzarella cheese. We're gonna do a couple blocks of that. We're gonna do some olives. 
Then we got some pickles, baby pickles. Okay, then we got some celery here too. Okay, now to get the garnishes to balance on the, the rim, you're gonna wanna do a cross-sectional toothpick. You can kind of like tie all these together. And the more disorganized it looks, the cooler it kind of looks. Like you can even go crazy like this or something. Put a few celeries on there, then just jam it in. So you can't drink it, you just have to eat your way to the bathroom. <laughs> then we also have two pieces of bacon. Throw both of those in there. Obviously you're going to need a straw, otherwise you won't be able to drink it. And then I guess that kind of defeats the purpose of having the rimmed glass, but maybe you just have to eat your way down. My dad licks. Oh yeah, you can lick it. You might have to just eat your way down to the rimmed glass. So pop a straw in there, you're good to go. Okay, time to taste test. Woo! I have not tried Megas yet, but I'm gonna give that a little sip here. And I'm not a fan of Bloody Marys, but if it comes with all these garnishes, I'm definitely ordering it. This just tastes like candy. It is really good. Oh man, that's yummy. Is it yummy? Mmm. Woo, and it's a double doozy. Yeah, so this is two shots. You can reduce that if you want. Perfect, exactly like a Bloody Mary with significantly less carbs. We were really trying to think of the best way to make a Bloody Mary that's kind of compliant with keto. And it's pretty tough. The tomato sauce is probably yeah. the best way to go. It was a stroke of genius by me. And when I made the suggestion, Matt just laughed because <laughs> he thought it was ridiculous. Big shout out to ZVF for sponsoring this. Thanks so much. Check out these awesome mixers. Make these cocktails. Let us know what link, you like. Link to both recipes is in the description below and comment for other cocktails you want us to try making more keto friendly. We already had a cocktail that uses ginger beer. We're also gonna link that below. It's, what is it? It's an apple cider Moscow mule. All right. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.